guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can make a tutorial video with Loom. It's super simple and completely beginner friendly. And once you learn this, you can make tutorial videos for online courses, YouTube or even your clients. Before we dive into this video, I just want to let you know that I've put any links to resources in the comment section below the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content helpful, please like and subscribe so I can keep making content for you. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to have a Loom account, obviously. Now, I find the paid version of Loom so much better than the free one. You just have so many more options and it just makes it so much easier. And for the price point, it's just so worth it. I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that. So it's kind of a no brainer. So when I am prepping to record my screens or do any tutorials or anything like that, the first thing I make sure that I do is I actually have all my tabs open. You can see I've got some up here ready to go for my tutorials. It's better to be planned than to just be clicking buttons and not knowing where you're going and waiting for things to load. The next thing I do is I actually script out some of my uh, some of my videos just to make sure that I stay on track because I tend to waffle and talk about a lot of rubbish sometimes. So I just write some, you know, different points and things like that just to keep me, you know, on track and it just it just helps you really. The other thing that Loom can do really well, but I couldn't actually show you how to record it at the same time, was it has something called speaker notes. So this is only available on the desktop version, but it is so handy if you're a waffler like me. So down here on the right hand side, when you get your tab open, there is something called speaker notes. Now you can put all of your text, everything like this in here that you need to say if you're nervous or if you're not really good at keeping to scripts or anything like that. And you, th this will not show in your videos. It will overlay over the top of your of all of your tutorial videos. So you can move it around. You can move it from left to right. You can do anything that you need to to be able to, you know, do your tutorial videos. I would recommend that when you use this specific function, that you put your script and your notes actually right up above where the camera is, as high as you can go, so that you are directly looking at the camera while you are reading your notes. Because nobody wants to be looking down at somebody's eyes on the right hand side of the corner when you're trying to present something you want to be interactive and you want to be engaging with people. Now I find that when you use the desktop version of Loom the videos are way clearer and just seem way better and you have more options rather than when you use the recording inside of the browser but for this purpose I need to show you inside the browser because I can't actually record my screen using the desktop one properly so when you need to record a video you click new video record a video and you'll have these options come up here on the right hand side so with the paid version this is what i mean because you do get more options but say i select current tab you've got full screen window current tab camera only with the desktop version um, you can actually select your screen size like a specific custom size and that's what makes it really handy of course you want to make sure that you have your microphone and your camera on and I like to make sure that I just double check the settings and make sure that the video is on the highest quality that it could possibly be. So you can see here that 1080p is the highest that it could possibly be, which is great. Okay, so this might look a little bit weird, but I'm just going to turn the camera on and you're going to see two of me. This is me actually recording and this is me showing you how it actually works. So in here inside, you can change the sizes of your face. <laughs> I don't want my face that big. And you can also move this bubble around. The other thing that you can do with Loom is you can get this, you know, blurry background or change the background of your circle. Now, I always like to do it because when you're doing tutorial videos, you need to make sure that you are the one thing that is standing out and your content is the thing that is standing out. So you just need to look for the button effects and you can change it. You'll see on the demo version on the left hand side that that is changing my background and you can do whatever you like. Like you can put in like realistic backgrounds or I would probably stick to just, you know, your brand colors or whatever is actually just going to make you stand out the most. Sometimes as well, when you are presenting and you're doing a tutorial video, you just want to be able to point something out really easily. So I'm in the desktop version of Loom, remember? So I've got my left hand side toolbar here. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to click on the draw button. So say I wanted to highlight something, I can click on it 
and it is going to draw all over the video and it's going to highlight everything that I need, which is a really handy feature when you are teaching things. Okay, so once you have recorded your tutorial video and you've finished everything and you're really happy with it, you can download your video. So you've got a couple of different options. You can click on these three dots right here and you can simply download the video and you can do whatever you want with it. So you can put it into Dropbox or Google Drive and you can share a link from there or you can upload it to YouTube or edit it or whatever it is that you need to do to that video you can do there. You can also copy the link and just share that tutorial video directly from Loom. So if somebody asks you a question and you just want to quickly send them the video, you can do that. Um, then the next way that you can do is you can actually share the video. So if I click on share the video, you can actually email that tutorial video to somebody. Um, I don't necessarily use this social here unless I was doing something just really, really quickly. I would typically put any of my videos into like a scheduler or something like that. Um, yeah, so you can do it from there, but it's better to do it like when you've scheduled everything. But yeah, so you can share your video with somebody specifically from here. And usually this way here is a little bit better when you need to put some restrictions on it. And this has just got some similar options that are really this, like very similar to Google Drive. So yeah, it's pretty simple and easy to do your tutorial videos. Once you've got them inside of Loom, you can share them, you can upload them to YouTube, you can really do anything that you like with them. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.